part two of my adventures in uh, getting up and sees pie to run. So I'm gonna. I've already watched Michael Scott's first video on installing Anaconda, and with Anaconda, I got a Jupyter notebook as well. So I've done this video already: install Anaconda and run Jupyter notebooks locally. Yay! So now let's go to the next video, which is how to install OpenSeas Pi via Anaconda. So it's a two-minute video. Let's see if uh, we can get it to work in two minutes. Let's press play. So that goes here. Okay. okay. So in this video, I'd like to show how to install OpenSeas Pi locally through Anaconda. So if you go to your Start menu and bring up an Anaconda prompt, what you'll want to do is type pip install OpenSeas Pi. Okay. And you'll see that that launches an install process. It takes, usually it takes a few minutes. Uh, I have a cached version on here, uh, but uh, if it's the first time you download it or install it, it'll take a couple minutes uh, to go through. All right, so assume you fast forward through that. Uh, you're all, all done, all set, right? Then you can start up a Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so we need to do pip install. So it's a pip install open seas pi. How does it know to do that though? Okay, let's try that. So I'm gonna go to my anaconda and this time I'm gonna go to my anaconda prompt, which is right here. I've got a PowerShell or a prompt. I'm just gonna go with PowerShell. And then what's the difference between that one and uh, anaconda prompt okay they look the same same location so i'm going to do pip install open seas pi oh all right it's collecting the data it's not taking so long okay now i am in a good network right now so maybe that's why that works so well Excellent. Now, what was the next thing he said I'm supposed to do? It will go to my Jupyter Notebook, which I already have from before. I already have this untitled notebook, and I'm just going to delete everything I had. Well, I need to keep my Hello World, so I'm going to put that into one line. There. And then here, I can cut, 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 and leave a blank. So if I can run this with a shift key, I have my hello world. All right, I do have Jupyter Notebook running. So let me go back to the video and see what I'm supposed to do next. Okay, and again, here's your uh, local file structure. I'm gonna start a, let's say I wanna start a new Python 3 notebook. So over here in the upper right, the new Python 3. I have a blank notebook. But to import open seas, let's say import open seas pi dot open seas. And I like to just shorten it to OPS. Okay. All right, and that's okay. So I got to do that quickly, otherwise I forget. Import open seas pi dot open seas as OPS. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to say it should be at the beginning, but import open seas pi dot open seas. I saw that it was all lowercase as OPS, which means that the as OPS, that now this is a new library and every time I want to refer to this library, I can just put OPS and parentheses. Uh, enter, I can just press enter. Well, didn't complain, so that must have worked. And then let's go back to the video, and see what's going on. Cell should run without any errors or anything. Okay. And then uh, you can start doing open seas commands. Right? OPS.wipe right? to clear out any old models. OPS.model to create a new model. Right? Two, oops, sorry, two dimensions. Yeah. Three degrees of freedom per node, for example. Okay. That should all run, uh, no problem, right? And then, you know, down within this cell, you know, or other cells, however you want to do it, you know, just continue uh, building your mo model and uh, analyzing 
did than getting the, the results. Okay. okay. So, uh, I hope that's helpful. And thank you for watching. So first you wipes and then we're going to define the model. So I'm going to say done that and then I do OPS. Anytime if you have an open seas command, you have to use the OPS. Um, and so it was model. Oh, let's just do wipe because that's the one that I know. I, it doesn't require any input. So run that. That didn't complain, so everything is good. So what I would do is uh, let's find some um, open seas Python notebooks. Open seas pi. Oh, I could spell it right. A notebook. The open seas pi library. Look at that. This is really cool. I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is the manual. This is actually the manual. Oh, great. This is perfect. So here's the open seas pi. Oh, this is a great place to go, actually. So installation. PY pi. Oh, we did the Anaconda. There's our Jupyter Notebook. In Jupyter Notebook, we did these things. So, or you could do it in the command line. But here, let's see. PIP install opens use pi or PIP install minus user. To upgrade it, I thought opens use pi was ready an upgrade. PIP install and to import it. Okay. Um, we've done all that. So then let's go to the next. This is in design safe, which is fine. Um, we're doing it on locally. Windows SIP system. Oh, here it is in Jupyter Notebook. To install, we've done it. Import. So this is just way too much more than what I need to do. Oh, look at this. I can print the model, but I got nothing on there yet. So let's see if that does. I should get the same output as what they got. So here's my notebook. Just put it into new line. Look at that. Oh, I have an empty domain. How does it know where OpenSeas is? I didn't even need to download anything. It just went and grabbed it. Oh, very nice. So now I don't know where I am anymore in this manual. In Jupyter Notebooks, well, we're done with this installation. We're installed. So now compilation. I don't need to compile it for a Mac. Good. Let's put that away. Change log. Oh, beautiful. But I don't care. Model command. Oh, look at all these. These are all the commands that I've... Uh, they all look familiar. The only difference is just the format. So we've got... Nowadays, I guess you have to put the command and then all the input you actually kind of have to space it out so number of dimensions basic number of dimensions number of degrees of freedom ndf blah 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 so i could just say model i like to copy things because the other day i got caught having a lowercase having an uppercase when i should have had a lowercase so let's uh do this. You have to put in open C's in front, which is kludgy. Now number dimensions, I'm going to put in ndm equals 3, ndf equals 6. So then I can kind of remove this. There it is. I'm going to take this out. If you want, I can put it here. So we run this line here. Perfect. I've built my open seas model. Where do I go next? My element. Why did they put elements before they put nodes? Why would you put elements so up early? This is like elements needs to go down under materials. Where are materials? Oh, do they have materials inside elements? No. These are elements. Oh, nicely blocked out and. This is a nice documentation. Node, materials, where are materials? Oh, all the way down there. Okay, so let's do some node. Node, oh my gosh. 
So all I do is copy this, paste it over here. Now I'm gonna say no tag number or coordinates. This is way more input than I needed. Okay, so the star means it's optional. Okay. Let me look at the manual and see what it says. I know I'm assuming the stars are optional. So the coordinates, oh, I have to give it the coordinates. And then, oh, this is so cool because it means that at this node, you can give it as many degrees of freedom as you want. So it could be a node that has two degrees of freedom. And so maybe you only have truss elements connected to this node. You can give it a mass. Uh, masses associated with this node. You can give it displacements. No, you can give it velocities and acceleration. So I'm going to take all those out. And the default, I assume, is three for this case. Well, so this is a list of depending, and this should be number of dimensions. So yeah, that's just description of that. Okay. So I'm going to say node 0. I'm going to take all these out because I'm not going to assign these. And then I'm going to say 0, 0, 0. Oh, the node tag is going to be 1. And then I'm going to say node 2, comma, 0. Do I comma separated or space separated? So. Maybe I could do it a, well, 0, 10. I could just do it in two dimensions. Two dimensional. See, this is why I like to play with the variables like this, because then I can change things as I wish. So this is going to be from 0, 0, and 0 to 10. Enter. I guess it needs commas. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a pain to program. But maybe I need a list. What's a list? Let's see. List. Oh, and then you have to put list and then. Oh my. So if I put in list 0, comma, 0, or could it just be 0, 10? Could it be 0? 10. Oh. So it literally needs like an array. Zero. Oh, this is easy to program. Okay. Did that work? What is your problem? Name node. Oh. This is going to be a pain. I don't see why people like Python better poof insignificant no insufficient number of arguments open sees node list so maybe it does want a list can you give me an example please i really went to the wrong place ba, 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 ba. okay List zero comma zero. Is that how you want it? List. Yes, I. Nope. List expected at most one argument. Got two. Okay. I need an example on what a list is in Python. Open C's pi example. Yeah, I know that not to go to that one. Structural examples. Elastic truss, nonlinear truss, portal frame. Let's go to this. Okay. Wipe model basic to num bay, num floor, coordinate transformation, story heights. So 
So sections, definition, elastic beam column. <sighs> Just give me node. Node. I could look for OPS dot. I don't understand. Yeah, so I guess it is node and then node tag. Oh, this just makes it so complicated for me to program later on. Okay, so I guess I needed to just one zero 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 comma ten. There it is. Now if I do open C's print model and I put it here. I've got two nodes and it sees the nodal coordinates. Yay! I've built my first nodes in open C's. Um, I think this is a good stopping point because I think I've caused enough trouble in this already. Okay, well, that's how it's uh, done when you're getting started and have no clue what to do. This is how I do it. Thanks. Bye-bye.